Hello everyone, this is topic 3.13 Beer Lambert Law. This is taken from AP Chemistry College Board. In this video, I'll be explaining that what is Beer Lambert Law, and apart from that, I'll be telling how it is related to the electromagnetic radiations and how it helps in analyzing the sample. So let's start. In the previous video of electromagnetic spectrum, I explained that what is absorption and what is emission. So this is a diagram of an atom where in the center of the atom there is a nucleus and around the nucleus the electron is revolving in a certain orbit. Now when this electron is absorbing some electromagnetic radiation, it goes from lower energy level to the higher energy level. This is called as the electronic transition. And it is said that it is going from ground state to the excited state. Now when the electron comes back to the ground state, that is it comes back to the lower energy level, again there is an electronic transition with the emitting of the electromagnetic radiation. So the absorption is when the electron absorbs the electromagnetic radiation and goes from ground state to the excited state and emission is when the electron comes back to the ground state by emitting some electromagnetic radiation. Now after understanding the phenomena of absorption and emission, let me tell you what is absorption spectroscopy. So spectroscopy is a technique which helps us in analyzing the sample and Absorption spectroscopy is a spectroscopy which basically involves the absorption phenomena. Most of the electronic transitions in atoms and in molecules, they occur within the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. If you want to know more about the electromagnetic spectrum, you can watch the topic 3.11. And if you want to know more about the absorption and emission phenomena as well as the electronic transitions, you can watch the topic 3.11. The energy will be absorbed to excite electrons to higher energy levels and then they will come back to ground state with release of heat energy. As I told you in the previous slide also that electrons absorb the energy and they go from ground state to the excited state. What we do in the absorption spectroscopy is we take the sample in a cuvette. This glass tube is called a cuvette and we pass the electromagnetic radiation through this cuvette and electromagnetic radiation of certain wavelength is absorbed by the sample depending upon the type of atoms and molecules present in the sample. Rest of the light is transmitted from the sample. The electromagnetic radiation which is absorbed by the sample that is given by a formula A is equal to epsilon Cl where A is the absorbance Epsilon is the molar absorption coefficient which is specific for a sample. C is the molar concentration and L is the optical path length. This optical path length is characteristic of this cuvet. There are no units for absorbance. The units for molar absorption coefficient is molar inverse centimeter inverse. The unit for the concentration is molarity and the units for the optical path length is centimeter. Now let's see the question related to the formula. The question is a 5.15 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 molar solution of a red orange pigment has an absorbance of 0 0.726 at 453 nanometer in a 1.00 centimeter cubit. So in this statement the concentration is given the absorbance is given and the path length is given. We need to calculate the molar absorptivity which is epsilon of the pigment at 453 nanometer. So we know the formula that is A is equal to epsilon Cl. As we need to find the epsilon so the formula would rearrange as epsilon is equal to A upon Cl. Here we will put the values. A is the absorbance so it would be 0.726. It doesn't has any units. C is the concentration. So the value is 5.15 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 molar multiplied by the path length which is 1.00 centimeter. On calculating we will get the answer as 1.4 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 units would be molar inverse centimeter inverse. 
According to Beer Lambert equation, we saw that A is equal to epsilon CL. Now, if we keep the epsilon and L as constant, then A would be proportional to concentration. This means that if the concentration is increasing, the absorbance would also increase. Absorbance is proportional only to the concentration of absorbing molecules or ions. For example, here you can see that a series of concentrations are prepared for the same sample and the absorbance is measured for these concentrations and as the concentration is increasing the absorbance is also increasing this relation can be used to find the concentration of the unknown solution for that what we do is we prepare a series of concentrations and we find the absorbance for all of that using the spectroscopic technique then if we know the absorbance of the unknown concentration then we can find the concentration of the sample by using the same plot now let's see an example to understand this more the question you can see is if the absorbance of the unknown solution is 0.50 then what is the concentration of the sample so here a graph of absorbance and concentrations are given and here again as the concentrations are increasing the absorbance is also increasing so there is a linear plot for example you can see that here the concentration is 1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 mole per liter if we want to see the absorbance Corresponding to that concentration, it would be around 0.25 absorbance. In the question, the absorbance is given which is 0.5. So, 0.5 means here. So, corresponding to that on the graph, it would be here somewhere. And we need to find the concentration of the sample. So, concentration corresponding to that absorbance would be 2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 mole per liter. So the answer is 2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 mole per liter or you can say 2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 molar. So like this we can find the unknown concentration with the help of Pierre Lambert graph. The learning objective of the topic was explain the amount of light absorbed by a solution of molecules or ions in relationship to the concentration path length and molar absorptivity so in this video i explained that what is absorption spectroscopy the beer lambert law which explains the relationship of the concentration path length and molar absorptivity with the amount of light absorbed Please like and subscribe to the channel Log IOTA and press the bell icon.